学家在距离地球四十光年外的水瓶座发现了三颗行星，它们的体积和温度都类似地球，可能会在上面找到液态水，甚至不排除蕴藏生命。在浩瀚的太空中，地球是唯一有生命的星球吗？人类寻找第二地球的行动，现在有了新发现。Astronomers using telescopes at ESO's observatories in Chile have discovered three planets around a dim dwarf star, just 40 light years from Earth. This super-dwarf star, which is the size of the Sun, is the size of the Sun, and its mass is about the size of the Sun. Besides, the three planets and the size of the Sun are similar to the Sun. Two of the planets orbit very close to their host dwarf star, meaning they are likely to be uninhabitable because of radiation. And the third outer planet is further away, but it's too soon to tell if it lies in the so-called habitable zone. <laughs> 这三颗行星号称为“地球三兄弟”，地表上不排除有温度适宜生存的区域，甚至可能有液态水出现。科学家大为振奋，想找外星生命就可以从这里开始。人类对外太空的好奇从未停歇。宇宙中的高等生命当然不可能只存在地球上。We have walked on the moon. We have landed on planets and comets, and ventured to the edge of deep space. It's now estimated that there are tens of billions of habitable planets in our galaxy alone. Are we content to gaze at all these stars, all these worlds, from afar? 人类在太空中不甘寂寞，要加快找寻外星生命的脚步。俄国亿万富翁米尔纳最近发表的突破星际探索计划，邀来重量级学者一起参与。Today we commit to this next great leap into the cosmos, because we are human and our nature is to fly. After forty years in a wheelchair, it was so good to be floating free. 找来英国物理学大师霍金助阵，连脸书创办人祖克伯也自掏腰包，未来十年将斥资一亿美元，准备前往探测离地球最近的半人马座阿尔法星。Somewhere in the cosmos, perhaps intelligent life may be watching these lights of ours, aware of what they mean. 寻找外星生命并不容易，突破星际探索计划将打造数千个不超过手机大小的微型太空船，以全新设计的镭射光帆来推动前进。The lasers will be turned on for about three to five minutes, sending the probe through space at one fifth the speed of light. At that pace, the spacecraft should get to Alpha Centauri in a mere 20 years. Additionally, the path between Earth and Alpha Centauri isn't exactly empty. The chances of hitting something big like an asteroid are small, but lots of interstellar dust still stands in the way. And with the spacecraft moving at one fifth the speed of light, hitting just a tiny speck of dust will pack a big punch. Engineers will have to build a redundancy system for the sail so that it can withstand a few high-speed dust collisions along the way. 如果一切顺利，估计二十年后，微型太空船就可以抵达四点三光年以外的半人马座，接着再以四年时间把数据传回地球。外星人一直是科幻电影的热门题材，现在人类终于有了科技去探索未知的神秘太空。可以确定的是，我们所居住的地球在宇宙中不是唯一。嗯、TVB 新闻综合报道。有台裔背景的糕点达人张柔安获得了有餐饮界奥斯卡之称的杰出烘焙师殊荣。